Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Like now here we are going to talk about you know this uh, this is Stanley uh, Kakubo. This Stanley Kakubo, this this man really. I mean, you remember this is the man that he was involved in that Kaimbelu issue. Remember, he was involved in that Kaimbelu issue, and I don't know why, but to me it shows that this guy is not a really a good crook because. Remember the Kaimbe Rupishu and you took my pictures while you took a photo. You see? Then come these issues of money and whatever, whatever. Again, you can see a video, you can see the handwriting. It shows that Kakuo is a real amateur. Kakuo, actually, I, from my point of view, I don't think the guy is a crook. The, I don't think the guy is a crook because if he's a crook, he would not be exposed in the manner that uh, this guy has been exposed. Kalakana I know it's a diary, but I'm guys. It it shows the crook is not a crook. Eh? Now, you know, like Patch Panda, you know, on in the neighborhood. There are those girls that are really all over, jacked up and whatever, whatever. Tawakwata mafumo. They go everywhere. I'm one of those girls that uh, are all over. They go, they, you never see those girls getting pregnant. They don't. But the people that get, preg, get pregnant, not your Valama baby mama, those who want to trap men, uh -uh, not. Those, I'm talking about just, you know, Amafumu and whatever. It's those who are innocent, good girls. But otherwise, uh, the real pros, they don't get caught. And it's the same, thing, it's the same issue with the, this Kakuo. It shows that Kakuo is not really, uh, you know, a corrupt guy. <laughs> I think he had Shishita in a way. I mean, in those lines, eh? I'm talking about corruption. Otherwise, come on, there are a lot of these guys, eh? In UPND, in this government, there are a lot of guys that are making money. You don't see them uh, in the news. You don't see them. You don't, you don't see them, uh, you know, uh, being recorded like he, like this guy. The point I'm trying to make is that number one, Kakuo is not the only one that is eating in the UPND. Kakuo is not the only one that is eating in the UPND. He's not the only one. But then again, when you talk about eating and corruption, you know, in government, in and I've been saying this even during the time of the PF. I've been saying this even during the time of the PF. When I was talking about it, when PF was in power, you people, you used to accuse me, uh, by UPND rather, by UPND used to accuse me that no, it is because I eat with them. Now it is your time. Now it is your time. And the PF is out of power. And the PF, they are also, they also want to carry this tag of corruption against the UPND. Let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, Muchishi in Kafia, if you want, you can take whatever you want, you can believe what you want. When you are in a privileged position, when you are, you are in a privileged position, this is a fact, whether which government will come into power. I used to talk about Tumutulo when your PF were in power. I used to tell you that you are too. In the some of the money that they uh, they are they are spreading around, they are using like Avena Boma. I used to say that. I said Avena Boma ni Avena Lama Mule Mona Kwari Womutulo. And this is just a fact. Whenever you go, when you are in a privileged position, when you are in a privileged position, those positions 
they come with their own incentives. They come with their own privileges. And Umutulo is part of the privileges, whether you like it or not. And it is a shame that today, the PF, you want to talk so much about corruption, and yet you know, you were in government. It is very difficult. It is not so easy to steal money from government coffers. It's not so easy. It's not so easy to steal money from government coffers. It's not so easy. Believe you me. In the Ramesham budget, chapter and parliament, that money is not easy to, to be stolen. But the uh, uh, UPND, they did a very good propaganda against the PF, such that the PF, they started smelling corruption like Dudu. Corruption, corruption, corruption. They messed them up. They messed them up with this tag of corruption. They really messed it. UPND messed up PF so much with this tag of corruption. Big time. And for me, I used to say, it is not everything, it is not every minister or every government official who has money who is corrupt. I used to say this. I used to say it. And when I used to say it by UPND, you were rising against me. I still maintain today that UPND is in power. I still maintain to tell you that not everyone who is in government is corrupt. No. Not everyone who is in government is corrupt. So that is one thing that I want to, I want to make very clear here. I am basically telling you that let us not repeat what UPND did to smear the PF government as corrupt. Let us not make, I'm repeating, let us not make a mistake, the same mistake that we did, to smear the PF government as very corrupt, when in fact, not everyone was corrupt. Why am I saying it is a mistake to label your government corrupt? Why am I saying that? I am saying this because, you know, the reputation of a country, the profile of a country, is very important for a country to develop. It's very important. But if the country, if the citizen of a country, they, 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 they indulge in laboring those who are in government as corrupt, such that wherever they, wherever they go, they are perceived to be corrupt, it becomes a problem. It is not good for a country. We like it here on social media to come and accuse those in government of being corrupt. We like it. We sensationalize issues of corruption. We sensationalize them. We spread them. We share them. We enjoy to label people of being corrupt. But in my view, we are shooting ourselves in the, in the foot. I say this, I say this, I said this when PF was in power, and I still say this at this point in time, especially at this point in time. Zambia is on the spotlight. Zambia is on the spotlight. Zambia is on the spotlight. The international community is looking at Zambia. HH has brought Zambia on the spotlight. HH has brought Zambia on the spotlight. We, I think this country, you know, this country is being looked at, is being analyzed, is being scrutinized more, oh, I don't want to say more than ever, because there was also a time during the time of Chiruwa and Mwanawasa, Zambia was on the spotlight. But again, this time around, we are on the spotlight because we are somehow in the same situation. We are somehow in the same situation. During the MMD, you know, we were highly indebted. We were highly indebted, and the MMD government embarked on a campaign to revamp the economy through the structural adjustment program at that time. And they had to sell Zambia. Chiruwa had to sell Zambia so that people can look at it. And indeed, people looked at it, and we were helped. That's how we managed to get the hippie completion. The hippie completion was not achieved by Mwanawasa in a few years that he was president. No, the hippie completion started, 
started, you know, in the 90s, during the time of Chiruba, and it came to maturity during the time of uh, Levi Mwanawasa. It is the same during this time of the New Dawn government. HH has also embarked, the New Dawn government has embarked on revamping the economy of this country. And they have attracted the, 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 the global stage to look at Zambia, to watch Zambia, what's going on in this country. And so, what we say, what we talk about each other on social media, believe you me, has impact. Believe you me, it has impact. Myself, I've come to prove that fact. Myself, I've come to prove that fact. I've come to prove that fact because some of the people that uh, watch uh, my, my these live that you that that you that, that you, you you appreciate so much, they are actually people from different countries. I the other time I was traveling to Ethiopia, uh, I was traveling to Ethiopia, and on the plane, one man from from Uganda approached me and he said, "I watch you." I watch you. Also, you know, it was the first time that he was meeting me. And he's from Uganda. I also have people that watch me from other countries, Namibia, Europe, a number of them. Some of them have even approached me. They have spoken to me on um, a, 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 in my inbox. Remember when we had that issue of the, of the God scam? When we had that issue of the God scam, I am one of those people that had a number of interviews from Egypt, from Egyptian media. I did a number of interviews. I provided information to a number of media houses in Egypt. Why? Where did they find me? They found me here on social media. I am saying this to, to back up my point that what we say on social media does not remain within or amongst ourselves. It goes far and wide. You just don't know who is going to watch you. You just don't know who is going to read your articles. So for me, I am asking you to be responsible. I am asking you to be responsible in the way that we talk about ourselves as a country. We must be responsible. If you are patriotic, you must think twice what you say about the president. Believe you me. I know, I know you don't want to hear this. I know you, you want me to bash Hakainde Ishlema to say all sorts of negative things. But I want to tell you that we need to be responsible. We need to be responsible. The journey that we have started to revamp this economy, it is not going to benefit Hakainde Ishlema alone. No. If anything, Hakainde Ishlema is not economically uh, 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 stri stri uh, what is this? suffering, if I can put it that way. He's not. Hakainde Ichilema is not economically striving. He is not. It is you people who are on social media. It is you people who are languishing around looking for employment. Who need this economy to get back on the road? Hakainde Ichilema doesn't. Hakainde Ichilema can leave this country at any time and go and live elsewhere. He can. He can decide to go and live in America. He can survive. He can survive. He can go anywhere in this world and stay. He can go. But you are the ones who need this country to pick up. You are the one who need this country to pick up. But you people who want this country to pick up, you are the first ones to speak so negative about this country. You are so negative. I mean, it's as, it's as good as, for example, I mean, let's, if I can draw this analogy. Like the way I have my children, the way I have my children, I have my, my, my beautiful children, girls, and if they want to get married, and there, you know, amongst ourselves, we are busy talking negative about our family. Do you think your children can get married? Or your children can marry whoever? You, do you think they can do that? Because people will be like, no, 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 no. That family is a bad family. Look what they say about themselves. Look what they say about themselves. 
If I'm going to be to come here on social media every day talking negative about my children, how can somebody out there admire my children? How? How? If me, the father, start talking negatively about my children, how will my children be admired by others? How will my children get married, for example? If my children are going to be the first one to come on social media and speak so bad of me, I mean, you even say, yeah, but look at his, look at his parents. So, me, my brothers and sisters, out of patriotism, I am encouraging you that please, let us be responsible the way we talk about some of these issues. Yes, corruption is there, but are you telling me there is no corruption in America? Yeah? Are you telling me there is no corruption in America? Are you telling me there is no corruption in, in England? Are you telling me there is no corruption in China? Are you telling me there is no corruption in other countries? There is corruption. Even in America there is corruption. Even in Britain there is corruption. Even in the Vatican there is corruption. But why are Africans so prone so so desirous of you know labeling themselves as corrupt we like it to point corruption 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 we like it i am saying let us be responsible i am not saying we should not condemn corruption we should but let us be careful in the manner that we that we do we do it let us be careful so in other words don't don't just look at everything it's corruption everything is corruption in terms of kakuo i am not trying to be you know to speak for him or anything but really i think that kakuo should have been more careful for me i can't draw co conclusion that it's corruption i can't draw that it's corruption no i can't no, I can. of course of course one would bring up a lot of questions to say why receive so much money in cash and so on and so forth you draw all these things but really some of these things could have just been personal business could have just been personal business because so far with what we are seeing on social media i mean what really is pointing to the fact that uh, kakubo got this money because, uh, to facilitate something and by the way, the guy is Home Affairs, is Foreign Affairs Minister. Home, uh, foreign, foreign Affairs Minister. And this issue we are talking about is about is about mining. It's about mining, selling of a mine and so on and so forth. Really, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. We might we might find it difficult to actually find corruption. We might actually find it difficult to find corruption because this is the exact thing that was happening in PF. When you see money, you think that you think that it's corruption. It is not all the time when you see a lot of money, it's corruption. A problem Each time you see a lot of money, it's corruption. Each time you see a lot of money, it's corruption. Don't start wishing what Nabambeba chule. If you are broke, if you are broke, you want everyone to be broke. Because you are broke, you want even Chilvatari to be broke. No! Chilvatari won't be broke. Chilvatari is going to survive. Chilvatari knows what he does. Hmm? Instead of learning, we should try to do what Kara Shani, Ukwanisha Shani, eh? Ukusunge imu to you, Ukwanisha Shani, eh? Ukwanisha Shani, eh? Na mi panda kwa man, but be there, try to do, eh? No man ku guanzu, eh? Guanzu roofing company. That's where I am. Hmm? That's where I am. Uh, find out how does how do you manage these things? So in a I'm not trying to defend Kaku. I'm not defending him. But I'm just trying to say that I think sometimes we should apply critical thinking and be responsible in the manner that we come out. First of all, we should be very careful when we say it's corruption. Yes, there is a lot of money. Valium Kopa, Umurumendo, Danaena, Adiba Kealis. Adiba Kealis. Adiba Kealis. But let us not rush to say it's corruption, it's corruption. Awe, let us not rush. Awe. 
Yakubo, Ishamu Ishiva, Ishiva Yamu no Kuriyamu, Ishamu Ishiva, I've never even greeted him, I've never even met him, I've never even spoken to him, so I've got no reason to defend him. But even Kuma Tam Yama 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 Diaries, Nandila Nandila Nandila, let's be careful, let's be careful. Even in this instance, yes, not money and beer, not money and beer. Though Umu Tata Ule Moneka, but each time you see money, it doesn't mean that it's corruption. Mule te kanya, eh? Mule te kanya. Each time you see corruption, te kwa ati nishi, ni ndalama ni corruption, ni corruption. Mule te kanya, ndipo kumyeba, mule te kanya. I'm telling you, shi ndalama, you will be shocked to find out, I mean, it has even got nothing to do with his job. You might even be surprised that it has got nothing to do is, with his job. Of course, when you are in that position, you get privileged to get connected to different people. But if you if you get connected, if you get connected and you make money, which is corruption, yeah, why do we always want to, 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 to celebrate poverty? Why? Why don't we like to see people having money? Why? And this is not just with the uh, whatever, it's everyone. Now whenever you BND, never you BND, now I can take up your way suma at the each them. Eh? At a hundred thousand, whatever, whatever, unaicho sakut. Why are we like this? Why are we like this? Why don't we like to see people succeed? Why don't we want to see money with people? Chishu pashani, chava shani kanshi. Eh? Umuntu akwata kofia kandalama. Let us celebrate our success. Let us celebrate our success. And I used to say this when the PF were in power, and I'm saying it now. Don't see who you want to get to be at your corruption. Your corruption, your corruption. Now, to that stuff, you to live with fish, she now to live with fish, she now. We are, we are messing up our, our country, we are messing up ourselves that we can never make money. Each time we have money, we have corruption. We have connections. What is the connection? Uko, Adikuna Nkane, Adiku, um, Adiku, Abaku Foreign Affairs. If Yanama deal, Yadiku Mines, what is the problem? Eh, what is the problem? Nga nika uso kuti mwalanda kuifati yo, nika uso kaili ni mines minister. But that guy is a foreign, foreign affairs minister. What has it got to do with the, with the mines? So, fi mwa fi ntui fi, tuwe wako fi very, very careful. But, eh, tuwe wako careful when, before you, we, 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 we accuse others. I mean, that is my take. I know this is not a popular one. You don't like it. You don't like it when a, 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 a person does not fit in your in your narrative of negativity. In an African, and in Chushi, I have enough in that year, and I'm going to But let us not, each time we're going to be here, any corruption, any corruption. I'm actually happy with the way Haka Inde Ichinema handled it. Haka Inde Ichinema simply asked the Kakubo to resign. Because yes, of course, when it comes out like that, it's very difficult in our country. It's very difficult. And so Kakubo had to resign. And I'm happy with Haka Inde Ichinema, but I strongly believe that whatever Kaku, whatever information President Haka Inde Ichinema had, I don't think it was the stinking corruption. I don't think so. I don't think he would have allowed him to resign by himself if it was thinking corruption. It might just be a business transaction. But of course, it brought government in disrepute because as a government official, you can't be seen counting that kind of money. So, from that point of view, maybe that's why he asked him to, to resign. And I think that is better. That is better. Nonetheless, the anti-corruption commission are going to to investigate are going to investigate but let us not be quick to say awe tabamu ikete eh because is upnd nganga tapali umulandu nganga tapali umulandu nganga tapali umulandu eh u kwa tempia te umulandu ah ah u kwa tempia te umulandu and you mwa pfu mwa wale kosa pukulanda you should know better you should know better Mula teka nyata, pa mpia kachinga nika 600 pin. 
Eh? So let us be let us be very careful before we we tempt others. Let us be very careful. Eh, no, I can't even say didn't fire him because very angry. Really, when I'm married, I'm not going to him. I don't know him. I'm not. I haven't been close to him. I haven't been close to him. But really, some of these people, when you just look at him, you think I can't even say I can trust Kakuo as dour as he is because Kakuo has clearly shown that he's a dour guy. He has clearly shown that he's a dull guy. Do you think I can't even say is that dull to deal with Kakuo? Eh? Do you think that kind of man is that dull to deal with Kakuo as dull as he is? Because that is being dull. Baku kopa kuma kuma nani kani kuma shan kuma kuma what is this? I'm a diary. Now I'm poor. I'm pending. I'm a baku kopa. Wana mukulemba muna nani kani mukulemba cannot. Who does that? But anyway, I mean that's what I'm I'm saying. The guy it could have just been a normal business. And President Akai Ndeichinema didn't see the need to embarrass him when the guy really was uh, uh, was not so tempted. Because I'm not saying was not so tempted. Not that he was not tempted, but not so tempted. Because the point is that just seeing cash like that, hey, it's a little bit of a problem as a government official. So that is my take on Kakuo. That is really my take. I want to simply say, number one, today the Kenya. Let us help this country. Let us put this country in a good uh, in a good position, in a good perspective. Not always negative, 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 negative. Uh uh. Three taken. Number two. Not each time you see money. The only corruption, no corruption, no corruption. Let us celebrate each other. Let us encourage people to make money. Wamona motoka. Here it is expensive. Hey, shakuiba. What what what? We are like that. And it's not only. It's on both hours. You know, even those who are in government, apart from saving, I'm not even Hey, hey, shakuiba, shakuiba. Ah, ah, mulete kanya, mulete kanya. On Kakubo, I really think that he, I mean, it could be anything, and I think that the president did not, you know, kick him out badly because it might just be a business transaction. I know some of you will not like what I'm saying, but who cares? After all, they mumu ishrafanta. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.